ultimate in Nick in the nick of town. It was. So just one second ago, we were over there photographing puppies. <laughs> we needed to get those done before yes. we started. I feel like really far. Here we go. And we got some cute puppies. We got a lot. We were gonna have two floofs, but now we have <clears throat> eight, eight, nine? Nine? We got, a lot. we got a lot of floofing going on today. <laughs> Just for you. Happy yes. Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah. We'll it's right Friday. Here. We love Friday. <laughs> right here. <laughs> we really do. It's been a busy week for us. It's been really busy. Meredith and I have taken on some new projects. Yes. In the workspace. And I like it. It's very and good. And I like it. Melanie, you are oh. such, she said you don't have any coffee. I know. It, that was another thing. That was another thing, trying to fix her drink issue, she tried so hard. I know I know. I watched two drinks being made. Yeah. They're out. They went out the window. Uh, Not literally, they went down the drain. But I couldn't make it. To your, your, she came over here with an actual coffee mug. Right there. Why, why didn't you drink that one? Remember the oat oh, milk? Oh, it was nasty. So I made an oat milk latte. We have an espresso machine at the estate and I made a latte. And the oat milk is not the same one I normally drink and you know, you get used to a flavor and then the flavor was just so bad. And so I didn't want to waste a drink yeah. on not tasting good. But we still, we, feel we like have we nothing. Need something here. Oh, let me fix this. Do we need to just have the cups? Yes. We got our cute cup. Are you about to give me that? Oh no, 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 no. Get that trash no. out of here. Here's the cups for cuteness. Like, does it look better does this, this way? Does this feel better? Yes? Yes, it does. I feel like it looks like cute. It. Just pretend that we have something. I'm thirsty currently. You want to put some water in it? No. Ew. I know, we do need coffee. I'm so happy that all of y'all are here with Who's us today. Here? Who is here? I missed y'all last week. A lot of people <gasps> are here. Right. Last week was Father's Day edition. Caleb sitting in. George. He just wants to be me. So who, who's here? We got a lot of friends. See, I can't see all those. That's why. Oh, okay. It says like two of y'all's names and then other people are watching, but I see Cerise. Hey. We've got Kathy. We've got hey. Melanie. Hey, Hello. girl. Trisha, Meemaw, Jane, and Leroy. But yeah, Leroy. so if you're here, a lot of times it doesn't tell us everyone's name. It just gives like a grouping. But you have to so. say hey for us say to see hey. it. Say hey. Yeah, say yeah. hey to us. We've got our, my crinkle bag is back today for oh. those of you who are obsessed. It's back, the with noise. the crinkle bag. What do they call that? What is that stupid thing they call? <gasps> What is it? I hate it. ASMR. I don't like it. Oh, I want to punch the screen when people are doing that. Yeah. I don't mean that. No, your crinkle bag, your crinkle they bag. They pick up the product and they go, I love Today this we're sunscreen. Have coffee. <laughs> I'm like, anyways. You again, black hat. <laughs> okay. You forgot Caleb's email. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Caleb's email is Caleb, Caleb dot, dot Walker, Walker at Mariah. Mm -hmm. Will can comment it to you, I think. Hey, Deb. What? Ah ha ha! We're giving out your uh, and Melanie and is wanting um, is. <clears throat> books for the classroom. Remember. Yeah, they're supposed to email you. All right, I know that you guys are probably more obsessed with what we have in this basket behind us. This little squeaky basket. So who do we have? Cuteness. We it's gonna pop up on the screen. I want y'all to like see the cuteness that he did. But um, we do have some F1s today. Yeah, they are. I know it's been a minute since we've shared F1s or had F1s. Yeah, that is something that is um, kind of a hot commodity, like not mm -hmm. just here, but if you you know follow breeders or to have quality F1s yeah. is a little bit more of a challenge right now, and we have a quality. This litter is so cute. I have an obsession with one of them. 
Are the extra small schnoodles still available? Are you talking about the Heidi's? From today, the little bitties? Yes. Yes. There's still some availability. We did their Wonderful. new um, temperament test video, temperament test, and litter video. So we can definitely make sure you see all that because it was really cute. Yeah, they are really cute. They're this big. They're really tiny. White, yeah. I think, is my favorite right now just because she's so small and she has so much personality. Yes. And it was funny because like the bigger ones were not as not, not, not as comfortable. Engaging. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, she came in like just ruling. Johnny on the spot. Yeah, she's like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm little, but nobody knows it, so yeah. let's roll with it. But how many of you guys here are into F1s? Because same. <laughs> we we have F ones. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you guys come to us um, at the beginning of your search for F ones. So tell us. <laughs> <laughs> we were wait right. in silence awkwardly yeah. until you answer us. And there's a lag too. <laughs> <laughs> so on to the floof. Floof. Let's move multiple it. floofs. <laughs> who do you want? I know that you want. Yeah, let's just be real about it. Okay, get I it. mean, it's hard to get, get it out. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a serious business, <laughs> but serious stretching. Okay, so you put it up in the screen. These are the Colette babies, and oh my they God. are something. This one makes me want to bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find I want you to have people. Girl. Look at her. I mean, use all your strength. I know, got it. She has her bow on still because we sprinted over here. <laughs> yes, we didn't have time to remove that. Little besties, they're so cute. So wow. you might look at them and just say, okay, those, those are more cute puppies. But F1s do have a lot of qualities or all, all their own in the way mm -hmm. of um, hair stuck on my eyelashes. Oh, that's bad. I know. Um, you're going to see more of the F1 coat type. It looks straighter as a puppy. So they're um, for almost four weeks old. Yeah. So it's going to look straighter, but if you pay attention to more of the texture around their face and head, yeah. um, that's what it's going to transition into. So it's a good, beautiful little mix of some texture, some nice coat, but not we're not getting into that super curly with our F1s. Yes, we love F1s. Y'all know, Meredith and I have F1s. You They're know beautiful. Oh, here, I'll hand you a girl. Okay. That way only one of us has to turn around awkwardly. Oh, she has the sweetest face. I got grain. So, <laughs> Kayla, always in the wings with all of the information. Get a little book. Gail. <laughs> She's like, Gail. That could be the new one. Kayla. Kaka or Kayla? <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> Kayla's nickname is Kaka, by the way. If you want to well, use how that. How did I even get started? Did Ivy do it? Was it Ivy? Uh, no, it was before. It was us? Maybe. It was us? Maybe. Was it maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Kaka. Kaka. <laughs> or your sister, one of them. I, I thought we did it because we it was were us because like, your sister laughed about it. Tay Tay, you know, like when people. No, it was it, us. It was yes. us. It's like when people say Tay or Mayor, we're like, you're Kaka. <laughs> anyway, Kaka, what um, is the availability on this colon? Yeah, how many people are already snagging their space? <gasps> you could have this. You could have this today. And there's one. Technically one voice right now. Oh my oh gosh. God. This is a great age to get on a litter because, well, any any age is a great time to get on a litter. But four weeks old, you're already able to see a little bit more about, you know, their coloration, what they're gonna look like, but you got enough time to watch them grow up a little bit more. Um, watch them a couple of weeks, then they're gonna have temperament tests at seven weeks, and so you kind of follow along. So I would always say get on. Um, a litter, so you have time to follow more of their information and then make your decision. You're sleepy, baby. They're so oh. cute. They, well, they were both asleep as we grabbed them. I love how she has the little pigmentation on her nose. Now, of course, it's gonna fill in. <laughs> I feel like I am fishing. <laughs> caught ya. I caught ya. <laughs> that was hard. It's Ooh, hard. Gosh, that hurt. I know, it really does. <laughs> I love the face on this girl. This is yeah, white. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. And then I got Tiny. I think he's the smallest of all. Yeah, he is. Out in red. 
This is blue dot. Let me pull out red since they're similar. But do not be fooled. These are the ones that end up busting it wide open, yeah. being big. <laughs> yep. But so good. They're kind of twinsies. Yep, twinsies. Hey. Now that noise is fine. I hope you You can? Oh, that's so cute. Say, not this. <laughs> hey, they're so precious. We were just gonna bring two to you guys, and then they were like, "I should do them all." True, especially now that there's such availability. Wow. You, you guys can pick the cup. Oh, I haven't showed you guys this one. Orange. He's Look like at his face. The, the face equivalent to yes. blue, just a lighter color. Oh my gosh! When I saw blue, though, y'all. I love a fat puppy. Yeah. And he is so fat. <laughs> Those little baby bulldog looking faces. Uh -huh. Oh, they're so cute. So, how soft this one is. Like, he's oh, like extra soft. No. We love getting the little babies. Oh, no. And we have been with a lot of big babies this week. Tell them about, what tell them the about our best, our best litter. The one well, we've had several. The muffins? <laughs> tell them about the muffins. <laughs> <laughs> and talking about all the new new things that we're t doing, we're trying to streamline processes and make it um, easier for people to um, pick their puppy, but also the the flow and make it uh, as least intrusive for for the puppies themselves. Yeah. So we are um, basically spending all of our time with a litter a day. So last week, um, muffins. <laughs> was one of our litters and we get to spend all the time with them to do the marketing whether it's new photos videos we do temperament mm -hmm. test evaluation a little video clip um, and then their actual temperament tests so that's a long time to be with yeah. with the litter um, but it's good uh, we get a lot of information about them a lot of stuff that we can pass on to everyone well the muffins, they just busted it wide open. I mean, I mean they, honestly. He came in and they were hysterical, but because this is a new flow for us too, it was mass chaos. It was there. mass chaos, and it's not that this is just that there are a lot of puppies. There's 10, but they're huge. They're big puppies. Seven week old puppies that are like nine and 10 pound puppies, like big. <laughs> And they're <laughs> not fearful, so they come at everything very excited. Yeah. She threw a skirt away. I did, I had this. to. <laughs> Kayla was like, are you putting that in the trash? I said, yes, yes, it's time to go. It was a cute skirt, but it was just shreds. <laughs> well, you know, when you wear a skirt and it's flowing, and they're like, oh my gosh, that is so much fun. So it was just like, just pieces of like, skirt. I'm glad I thought I could be an entertainment. <laughs> but what, what we're able to see is, okay, that litter is very engaging, very yeah. smart, very, they want to do and go. And that could just seem like, oh gosh, this is just a whole bunch of bad puppies. Right. But there are some interesting and very um, high quality puppies in yes. there that have good, good potential to, they're smart. They're really smart. They so. are, and there is good availability. I know we've really sold them to you guys right there, but. Yeah. <laughs> if they you want your clothes shredded, but, we have the puppy for you. But one thing she made a really great point about was that these are, because they're so engaging, there are some that do a potential for therapy, mm -hmm. like service work, because mm -hmm. they do need a specific energy level to be able to train to that capacity. So that is a positive thing. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what you're looking for, you know? When you put 10 big puppies in a room, it's just, it's gonna automatically feel more chaotic. It gets than, hardcore. Than it actually <laughs> is, but. But we're learning and we're we're going and it has been really, really good. But that's why the nature, you might notice the nature of a lot of our content or our lives, it's a little bit different. Yep. Um, we're still adding individual pups and stuff, but you're getting to see behind the scenes stuff, yep. temperament test stuff, whole litters at one time. And I think that's beneficial. I think it's pretty dang cool. I think it's amazing. I think we've done an amazing job. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this baby back. So if y'all do wanna ask about these, they are the Colettes. <laughs> like I said, there is some availability. So you better snag it up real quick or it's gonna be gone. 
pretty F1s. Look no. at them, sleeping. If you find F1 somewhere else, don't. They may not be pretty. <laughs> That's a risk you just, take. Just don't do it. <laughs> Melanie said, is Raylan having another litter or is she retiring? I'm not 100% sure we are working through retiring a few of our parents right now. Yeah, we're really um, honing in a lot of that. So parents that we didn't think were retiring, they might be on the list now. Yeah. Because we're really perfecting. Again, going back to finding mm -hmm. an F1, it may not be pretty. Well, because we're perfecting our bloodlines and who gets mm -hmm. to breed and it's just gonna keep getting better and better. But with that, we're gonna minimize. Raylan produces beautifully, but I don't know where she's at on the retirement or on, stay, I don't know. On Dartmoor, on Dartmoor. That's one thing we don't do here. <laughs> they don't let us in the breeding room. <laughs> All right, we are going to show you our crinkle bag. <laughs> Time for the crinkle. Okay, but why we decided to bring out the crinkle bag again is because it's almost the 4th of July. It's two weeks away as of yesterday. Yeah. So if you wanted to order anything, like now's your time. Now's your time. Or else you just missed out. <laughs> or else you I'm going to give it. Meredith a few things for the crinkle bag. <laughs> Favorite, uh, favorite things, <laughs> and I think I do think they're cute. Okay, so Fourth of July, what do you do? You have a picnic. Okay, okay, yeah, we do think this is cute. You have hamburgers, hot dogs. This is fries. all new in, and one reason Meredith chose this one, obviously it goes, but it continues on, <laughs> just continues on. And you can use these things as keep keeping your pet entertained. Yes. During fireworks. We used to have calming treats and we don't anymore and that's kind of depressing. I don't know. Those are good. That is something. Use so what, them. Yeah, definitely use them. And talking about the 4th of July and that holiday coming up, this is cute stuff that matches, but also could be functional because I think that is the number one holiday that people lose their dogs. Yeah. Like they run away, they get lost. Well, it's terrifying. Of course, we we, we can release some tips. We have released some in the past. You know, like using sound machines, putting blankets over crates, or turning on music, things like that. Well, luckily, luckily, my dogs do not care. Mine either. They all. pretend like it doesn't exist. But if you're new, <laughs> like if you have a new pet or you're a new pet owner, don't trust your dog as they are. Yeah. To be the same on the Fourth of July. Because it's an extreme event. Like, don't want to take them out mm -hmm. to the picnic and to the party and wait for the fireworks. Um, and because that's what people do. Oh, he's so great. He's so good. You know, loves people. Well, it's a whole different yeah. story. So, if you are going to confine them or keep them at home, we're thinking that way. We're thinking, okay, they're at home. So, let's give them interactive Brand new toys. Things. Something they've never, Brand new. never seen this Oh my gosh, before. I did not know that case. <laughs> See? Isn't that fun now? I think it's you put the wiener back in and you take the wiener. I don't know about that. Does this one come apart? Okay, I might. <laughs> You've got different. And, okay, and you make your hamburger. This is this is getting this is extra unique. So here's your toys, okay? Easy. And then watermelon. We've had this one before, um, but it crinkles and squeaks. So it's a good thing to be able to give them something new. Yes. At the time, hold off on the toys until 4th of July for the next Oh wait, there's one more toy. Maris really wanted to bring this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she said, it's 4th of July. It's a firecracker. So, and it you says know. you're dynamite. And it's really, it's kind of uh, Valentine's, but it's, it's firecracker. Yeah, so it's true. TNT. So this is something super cute too. Crinkly, they love crinkles, they love ropes. Yeah. Um, I would say though, if you are going to put them like in a crate, yeah. or I wouldn't really put these in there with them. I would put that. So <laughs> this is a filled bone and they can get very busy with this for a long time because they're trying to get all of the filling for a while. So that's, that's a cute, no, not cute, not cute. This is a functional, functional toy. Yes. This is fun during the day, functional, no strings, nothing they can swallow, no, I mean, pieces and parts down the hatch. But it's fun. And you can put, <laughs> you can put, um, this is getting worse. I know. <laughs> put it all, put it away. This is going to be censored. 
put your hot dog away. <laughs> Just get this out of my sight. <laughs> Hot dogs go back in the crinkle Not, bag. Okay, let's That's go. That's smart. Trisha says, I highly recommend getting an air tag for your dog. You can track them on your, yes. That's, that's really brilliant. smart. Yes. Then you'd be like, you ain't getting away from me. Mm -hmm. Not today. Mm -hmm. You go find them. Like your <laughs> lost kid. Like, like <laughs> your luggage at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We used to always carry common treats, I know. and I don't know why we didn't get them back. I don't either, because they're, they're really good. I'll be giving my dogs common treats. <laughs> so, but just practice safety. Safety oh, first. All the way around, and don't trust your dog on the holiday. Right. All right, and we're almost done with crinkle bag. This is just cute. Yeah. I've been obsessed with this pattern since it came out. I love in. it too. There's a bed. Uh, yeah, there's a bed. We only have one left, and you have to buy it in store. I posted about that recently. I was like, we have one. Mm -hmm. So if you have a pickup soon, get it. Because it is so cute because you can get this, mm -hmm. you can get this, and you it's not exactly the same, but it vibes. It's so cute. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. I feel very coastal with this pattern. I do too. I'm yeah. like, I'm on the coast, and I have a very white house. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and my dog is perfect. And my dog doesn't get one paw dirty. No. <laughs> Don't you get that? Yes, totally. <laughs> and last but not least. Red, white, and blue. 2000. Oh, yep. 2000. 2000. And two. <laughs> it's a cheer. Oh. What is it? <laughs> I wasn't a cheerleader in 2002. I was a child. But. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a cheerleader? No. Oh, Were you? No. We were boys. <laughs> yeah. We were both boys growing up. We were yeah. tomboys. Yes. <laughs> we're girls. Oh. Now, but <laughs> we were concerned. I did only shop in the boy section for a while. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I did. I did. I would only wear t-shirts and umbro shorts. Do you remember umbros? Oh yeah, I had umbros, but that's because I played soccer. So did I. <laughs> but I just liked the vibe of umbros. I was not a girly girl. Me either. How times have changed. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> says the one who says she's going to move from the state because of flies. She's I talked to... about this online. I live. know, but it, they it, know. Doesn't, it doesn't stop. It still hasn't stopped. Listen, stop. I've been working up here in this office for a while now. I like this table. I like the brightness in here, and I can get a little bit of quiet. But this time of the year, the flies will come in the tiniest crevice, <laughs> and they hoard. And when I'm working and the buzzing, is going around my ears. <laughs> it makes me want to go insane. <laughs> she I just sit here like this constantly. So we went to lunch yesterday and, well, this is just now our life. It's yeah. me sitting calmly and Taylor sitting. <laughs> I'm just eating. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> she, she's fine. It'll pass. <laughs> but it is non-stop. She said, why aren't they touching you? They don't bother her. I said, I'm a state. I said, you are fun for them. You're a game for them. Yeah, they know. They <laughs> know. Like, watch this. They're like, yeah, we'll go to that one. This is her summer friendship. She's crazy. <laughs> Convulsion. Hey, but we did have dinner in Meredith's garden a few weeks back, and not one bug was bothering us. Yeah, now they're there. Mm. They're definitely there now. It was great. I know. It was great. That was a good night. It was. It was, it was so beautiful. a really good night. Let's, mm. let's just do that. What are your weekend plans? <laughs> um, I don't know. Actually, uh, you have dinner tonight. I have dinner tonight, which is gonna be fun. Going down to the beach, celebrating a friend's birthday. But I sadly, was it you that sent me this? That says, oh, it turns out, looks like I'm gonna have to quit my career because I have laundry. Yes. Clothes. That's where I'm at this we're, weekend. We're in the same place. I did the trick. Um, it's bad. Where I made myself, so I stripped my bed, which I did that, what did I say, yesterday? Day before. Yesterday. It's still stripped. I uh, knew it would be. I knew you went upstairs and slept in. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I tricked myself. Okay, you gotta strip your bed. That means there's no sheets on it. You do that. You wash a load and you put it on top of your naked bed. So uh -huh. I did. So that makes you, when you come home, take care of that load of laundry you thought and put your fresh sheets on no you take yourself upstairs 
into the guest bed and you sleep there. Yeah, so until you until you get ready to those do are the laundry. The, those are the rules. So there are Listen, I was. when we get home at the end of the day, it's not laundry time. No. I need to know from the people. Okay, like you know, you always feel like, okay, I'm the only one yeah. who lives this way. Yeah, you feel like such a failure. I'm the only mm -hmm. one. I'm a failure. <laughs> I live this way. <laughs> I always have laundry. I'm piling it on top of each other thin in my bed. There's other people. It's gotta be. It can't just be us. It's got to be. I wish I was type A so bad. But for some things, some things, total type A. Some things. Some. I, I'm also that little saying that's like, um, yeah, the house is dirty, the dishes, the whatever. But have you seen the garden? <laughs> yeah, her garden is literally pristine. <laughs> it's so pretty. So when you don't want to look at laundry, you just go out to the garden. Just go outside. It's fine. It's like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> have a little, just hang out yeah. and chill in the garden. <laughs> It's so pretty. So tell us your failure stories. We need to feel better about ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> tell us so we can <laughs> laugh at you instead. Get a dog. No, I'm just kidding. Get a dog because then you can blame a lot. They said, them. you are not alone. Okay, oh, thank God. You're a girl. You're a girl. Yeah, yeah it's true. Go so next week we're probably, oh, oh it's so cute. We're probably going to bring the giveaways back. I think next week in a game. Yes, it's time for a game. Well, I, I want to do it, you know, like not always. Yeah, we got to keep y'all guessing. But um, this was just to oh get y'all caught up on a little bit of the new things you're going to see on social media. Oh, and we need to wish Sherry, she's not here, but wish them a very happy trip. They're yeah. leaving tomorrow for Vietnam. 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 She showed me on the map yesterday. Yeah. How far? Vietnam is far from Alabama, in case you didn't know. <laughs> she, she crosses, little. crosses all of the countries and continents. God, that would stress me out. The, the How flight, long is the flight? The flight is a day. Mm -mm. You want to know how far? Yes. Yeah, how far is it? 9,000 miles. 9,000 miles? Yep, by plane, it would It's a day. And once they are done with their day flight, 22 hours and 40 minutes, they land and then they have to get on a four hour flight. No, no. That's when I would cry and wherever that was, that's the nationality I would then become. Yeah. I'm not getting on no more planes. Yeah. Uh -uh. This is where I'm staying. This is it. Uh, Memo said, why Vietnam? We don't know. Random. It was suggested, I think it was suggested by Lauren, right? Yeah, Lauren's been, hasn't she? Yes, to Asia? yes. I think she's been specifically to Vietnam. Probably so. They were going to go to Italy, but um, that has to be an entire family trip. And her oldest son, um, they just had a baby. So the timing was wrong. They couldn't go to Italy, so they have to. They had to do plan B, mm -hmm. which was Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. To we me. just talked about this yesterday. You know it's time to do laundry when you've completely cleaned <laughs> up. <laughs> Even the right. That's what we said. We're like we're in our backup panty face. <laughs> like you're not. <laughs> it's the truest thing. We said that yesterday. <laughs> I said, I'm barely making it here. I barely have extra clothes to go on a walk. <laughs> well, that's not true. You have them. We have them, but we don't have them when they're dirty. No, no, no. That's, hold on. That's the problem. <laughs> so not, then you go buy new ones. No, no, no. They're not dirty. They're pushed <laughs> to the end of the bed. She did like five loads of laundry and yes. not one of them <laughs> has been folded. I folded a couple of things. Me too. And I was like, <laughs> for me, let me go have a glass I of wine. I reward myself <laughs> with a nice glass of wine and a show. I'm very particular. Oh my gosh. And I, I, here we go. I don't know why we're confessing all of I don't know. This is this it's is a bad. fluke. It's it, a fluke. Well, here's our personal flukes, I guess. I have been so shameful as to sleep next to the pal. Oh, yeah. Of, like it was. I did that like when I was single. Was like, yeah. yeah. I mean, let's just snuggle up together. You're I just wore my just go, go, <laughs> I'll get to you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can. Yeah. You can just live your life. Jeez, it doesn't matter you know. at the end of the day. You know? So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, puppy. Anyway, anyways, <laughs> anyways, we got it all together. <laughs> no. 
Hey, that just proves to you, we're here to be real with y'all. We consider y'all friends. We share all of our flukes with you. Not all of them, <laughs> but enough. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> more, <than laughs> come more and more will come out. <laughs> so it's true friendship fashion you should share yeah. as well. You yeah, should. but <laughs> let us know, you guys, what. Okay, so next week, we're, we would love to do a giveaway. Mm -hmm. You know, we've done some Fletch and Low products, and of course, that is that is what we have to give away. Fletch and Low. <laughs> so Last week, there yeah, are some year. personal things, like human things in Fletch and Low. Would you only want the things for your dogs? Or would you like to explore some of the other things? Like there's cute like notebooks, there's cute hats, there's candles, things like that, tote bags, stuff. So sunglasses. Sunglasses. Oh, yeah, there's some cute the sunglasses. The sunglasses yeah. are so cute. Mm. I've had a pair. It's Someone cool stretched thing. them out. He says it wasn't him, but my head is only my head is only one size. Well, that's the only other big head in your house. Isn't it? Ivy does have a big head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. But anyways. I'm just going to hold a cute puppy. The Colette puppies. <laughs> anyways, let us know what you would be interested in for the giveaway. I've loved you guys sending me some emails. I feel really cool <laughs> and like a real businesswoman. So thank you for that. <laughs> Trisha, human things or toy box. Is, yeah. Oh, our toy box is it? Yes. Yeah, I like the personal stuff too. There's a lot of cute stuff I like in there. Yeah, we haven't done that, so that'll be a good mix. And we can maybe even put in the, the dog scent that sometimes we could pass as our own. Yeah. It's a thing. The spray, you can do it. Yeah, there are some really cutesy stuff that I really like. I mean, y'all see me sporting the hats all the time, so. The hats are the best. I love the hats. And there's cute t-shirts we can give away is as well. Is this the first loop without a hat for you? No. No, there was one other floof where I didn't wear a hat. It's always my personal goal to not wear a hat on Friday floof because Meredith always looks cute, okay? It's just her thing. She looks cute. She's got cute hair. I have postpartum hair. I lost a lot of it. <laughs> you know, you have a baby. It's coming, coming back. back, but the underneath that's coming back is this short. So <laughs> I'm not working with my normal amount of hair. So most of the time, once my hair's dirty, you're going to be in a hat. That's Friday. Yes. That's Friday. Friday is my least effort day physically. But I told Caleb this morning, I said, I have to do my hair. <laughs> it's flu. <laughs> we got he it. actually trimmed it for me. What do y'all think? Oh, nice. Yeah. Good job, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> you wear so many, yeah. many hats there. <laughs> but does he do the laundry? Yeah. He's the only one who puts it away. <laughs> yeah, I would do all the wash, like constantly wash, 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 but I can't bring myself to put it away. <laughs> if I wash it a little longer, it's folded. <laughs> That is just like, terrible. Jesus, what's going on with you? <laughs> I have to give Millie her time in the pile. She <laughs> loves a fresh pile and I can't find her. I have to call her name and she pops her head. I'm here. I'm like, That's okay. Cute. She loves oh my the pile. Oh, yeah. Really oh, yeah. True. That popped up. Okay, so we were looking at things that happened um, a year or on this day just to see if there was anything interesting. Caleb found one. Um, happy birthday to Morgan puppies. A year ago today they were yeah, born. Yeah, should be If anybody um, has those, so that was fun. But Caleb found it three years ago today. And a lot of you were around, around for yeah. that story is when my little Millie got bit by a water moccasin at my house early in the morning. And Millie, if you don't know her, she's 20 pounds. Uh, she's Maybe 13 not now. Anymore. Yeah, I don't like, yeah, I don't think she's that fat anymore. I think her, she's like 12. <laughs> yeah, she little. she's little. She's um, little. Her, her legs, legs are skinnier than theirs. There's this straw. Because she's <laughs> shaved down right now. And she comes out on these. <laughs> Every time she, we're all like, don't walk. That's going to snap in half. <laughs> but she's just so poodle. <laughs> <laughs> and so imagine you make sure good. a water moccasin <laughs> biting down on that. So couldn't even get both teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> Just went right. Through. But somehow he got her, and oh, that man. was a panic day. And I did have many heroes that day, um, namely Caleb showed up. Now let me tell you, Caleb, and it's a known fact. Hates snakes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually told this story to the office last week. Did you? Santa, yeah. 
Hate some. Well, this was like early in the morning. I'm doing my usual garden routine. I think mm -hmm. pajamas, boots, the whole thing. I hear Millie yelp and she comes over to me like, but she's holding her little paw up. Yeah. I'm like, what in the world? And so I look and I can see blood coming out of it and then I go to where she was. Well, the stupid thing was still coiled up, mouth still wide open. Like, you know he's ready to strike again. Oh, oh can we oh, see Oh, you that? have it? Oh, do I have it? Is it your token? This is a Ted. I showed this to the office the other day. Let me see. I don't know if they'll be this able to see this on. You gotta go. Fly yeah. stop. Well, it'll go out of focus if I go up closer. Oh. Uh, let me see. Well, what's the best way to do this? This is when, it, when it's all said and done. This is, the head this is the head of the demon. A little bit more. Right there. I think you can see it. Oh, y'all. Yeah. yeah. It was big and nasty. Oh, hold on. I got another one, too. Since we're just doing this. So, also, snake that's awareness. It, that's it. Minus yeah, snake awareness. Minus snake the head. awareness. Scary. Oh my. Well, I'm so glad she made it. Hopefully it's something to take it down for a show of mutilated snakes. But. Yeah, I mean, we're taking a, taking a turn. But you do need to be aware um, because they do kind of sniff around and, you know, Ooh. they kind of find them. Yeah. Um, so pay attention to what they're, if they get really focused in on something. Because I noticed they were doing that, she and Ruthie at the time. Now Ruthie didn't get bit. But anyway, so I call. Caleb, I call Carol, and I was like, Millie's been bit, she's gotta go. Um, I rush her to work, Charles is here, ready to take her, he takes her over to Mobile, emergency. Caleb comes with his pistol. What'd you get, your pistol? Yeah. Two pistols. Snake boots. And I get on my tractor, and, cause by this time, I don't know where the snake is. Yeah. It's gone, you know, cause I had to leave, take Millie to, Charles and we don't know where it is, but I, I'm like, I will not sleep. Yeah. Tonight, knowing that big thing is out here. Cause I've never seen a snake out there before. And it, it had just been like a really rainy time. I think it was just passing through, but anyway, get on the tractor, trying to find it, just trying to scrape it up in the, in the weeds with the bucket. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We're about to give up, right? Yeah. I was like, let me just make one more pass. Let me go back further, make one more pass. And I'm just got my bucket to the ground, like scraping. Well, then it rolls up and I'm just yelling, Kayla, here it is. So he comes over there with his pistol and he just annihilates that <laughs> snake bits everywhere. And then we had to cut its head off and just to make sure. Just to make sure. <laughs> but that was the scariest thing. But luckily, I will say, if you're in that situation, um, yes, get immediate help, but apparently, um, a couple of things. The first bite is usually a dry bite, they say, from the snake. It's the second strike, so when I went over and I saw it still like that, yeah. that strike would have been super deadly. Yeah. Um, hers was not a dry bite, she did have venom, but typically it is. They strike and there's no venom, I guess, ready yeah. yet. Um, a lot of dogs do get bit by water moccasins and survive. Yeah. Millie was just compromised because she was so tiny. So tiny. And, um, but anyway, she they gave her the Anna Venom. She's been alive and, for a while. Yeah, and she is, you would never know it. She doesn't even have a scar now. But anyway, that was a long That's story cool. about a snake, but. I mean, it was crazy. For 4th of July and summer, and. <laughs> you it was need crazy. To pay attention to that. And see if your witch vet has Anna Venom. Yeah. I don't think all of them do. Um, this one did. But call around and see who has that so you know if it happens, where to take it. Exactly. Well, that is crazy. Can we so, been three years? Yeah. Well, we have one other question. She, Suri said, I've got an off topic question. Do the three breeds still look like each other when they grow up? Depends. Yeah. I mean, there's different looks. Yeah, they definitely can. There's still breed consistency among all of them. Um, but they can all look different. Like, three different golden doodle yeah. litters can look different as adults. But they can, yes. Yeah. Sometimes we can't tell. And yeah, all the time, we can't yeah. tell. <laughs> they definitely got more consistent like, yeah. looking somewhere. 
But something y'all really will, yeah, definitely yeah. gotten way more consistent because it used to be the breed standard for our schnoodles that you dock all their tails. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a dead giveaway. Yeah. Um, but now we we did away with that. We didn't see the need or the benefit there. Um, so they look just, you know, they've got the long yeah. tails. But something y'all will maybe want to tune into this week on, what day are we doing that letter? Thursday? Thursday. Is it Thursday? Thursday, okay. What's yeah, yeah, it's just naturally on Thursday. So maybe Thursday, maybe earlier, we're gonna do a litter. Yeah. Um, what's the mom's name? Um, uh, Coralie. Um, and they are gonna be more schnauzer mm -hmm. influenced than yeah. poodle. But they are schnoodles. Um, but I'm so excited to get my hands yeah. on those. I think they're gonna be the cutest little thing. Yes. They're tiny. They're so cute. Super cute. I'm excited. So those will look different. So that'll be a different yeah. look for sure. So, babies, babies everywhere. Babies, babies with good hair. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetest little baby. I really, really hope y'all have enjoyed this randomness of Friday. <laughs> That's the point. That's what it always is though. Y'all always end every episode or show with like... Sorry, it's this random. One was weird. <laughs> I guess we just think we're just so weird and we're sorry. I feel like we're always having to be like, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, here's a dog again. <laughs> uh, anyway, so dogs, get get some hampers and clean your clothes. <laughs> All your laundries, put on clean drawers and, and watch, go to the watch garden the and have a glass of wine. Okay, so you're welcome. <laughs> So that's that. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. <laughs> Keep your dogs inside. <laughs> that's a summary. Get um, a hot. What has happened to get them? a hot dog? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Do though. They're for sale in Flex and Low. Okay, everyone. Well, I uh, hope y'all are gonna get ready for a wonderful weekend. Do you have anything besides laundry? Today. No, I take Ivy to get her nails done. Oh, that's right. Ivy wants to go get her nails done. My daughter's just three and a half, so that could be fun. I need my nails done. I don't have much nails, but <laughs> they could paint they them. Make it? Yeah. They could paint them for me. That'd be nice. Paint them. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us Friday. We will do uh, maybe prizes, giveaways, Human games. prizes. Human prizes. And a game. And games next week. Stay tuned as always and have a wonderful weekend. See y'all on Monday. Goodbye.